Hello all, this is L2 coming at you with another video. Glad that you can join me, glad that you can watch. So I'm just going to get right into it. <laughs> I'm going to start with politics. And as you, if you have been watching the politics, you know what I'm probably going to be talking about. Uh, that guy in the White House. Uh, first of all, um, he's going to be having a meeting with the uh, Chinese president. So I am very curious to see how that's going to go because I do remember that when he was a candidate for, uh, uh, for the presidential election, he had said that for the dinner with the Chinese president, he would give him a supersized Big Mac and large fries or something like that. So, um, yeah, but we, you know, hopefully that was in jest, you know, but who knows what, what he's going to be thinking and everything. So I hope it goes better than the Angela Merkel um, meeting and everything. So keep an eye on that. Also, I have, you know, it's, it's, it's really concerning. He has his daughter that uh, has, is, have, has an office in the White House but she's not an official employee, so she still gets a, a, a clearance, a security clearance, you know, for classified information, but she's not actual an employee. So, uh, you know, doesn't that ring a little bit of uh, des despotism or something along that, that line? But we, you know, we'll, we'll see how her role goes. Hopefully, you know, I, I, I kind of thought in the past that she was the voice of reason for her father and hopefully that's the kind of role she's going to play um, when she gets her office or when she's that close as his advisor and things of that sort so hopefully it'll work out keeping my fingers crossed all that so and another thing uh, the Supreme Court Justice that was nominated, you know, and uh, confirmed Gorsuch. They've gotten him in because they changed the rules. They just, they just don't play fair. My God, you know, Democrats get on the ball because they're not playing fair. You know, don't don't break any rules, but still, you have to go tit for tat on this, man, because this is it's it's craziness. It, it's craziness that where where everything is. So, uh, and then talking about his son-in-law. Yeah, I talked. I mentioned his daughter before is going to be getting an office in the White House. Now her husband is going to be a guy that has so much responsibility. You know, he's supposed to be you know uh, having Middle East peace talks. You know, and he's going to be restructuring the government, and he's going to be uh, uh, doing handling some kind of budget issues. There's a whole laundry list of things that you know this Kushner guy is supposed to be doing in education. You know. Betsy DeVos, you know, I just read on a Google, um, on a Google site that she, <laughs> she's having, um, um, security up with her that is going to be costing upwards to $7.8 million a year. That is so ridiculous, my God, because she's not welcome anywhere. People don't want her anywhere. An unqualified person that is using security services to the tune of $7. million a year. But yet, the education budget is being cut by 13%. So where is that, that $7. million coming from? They have to pay somebody it's coming out of the education budget. So, just totally, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, we gotta keep on it, we gotta keep a watch on it, we have to make sure that, you know, we, we, we march with them every step of the way, don't give them an inch, and make sure that we keep an eye on things. And speaking of education, you know, um, things have been, Kind of happening here in uh, China and uh, Chengding District at Weijia uh, uh, Private IB School. Uh, we have a sports thing ceremony celebration coming up, and you know, of course, all they have to have all the pomp and circumstance, and you know, we got to train the kids to do this and and have them marching and do this. So it's it, it's all it's all fluff. 
you know there's really no substance to it they're actually taking away from our instructional time to have the kids practice this taekwondo routine um, you know first they started it in what they call the west bubble you know because the pollution was bad but we've been having some pretty clear days and so they've been letting us practice it outside so here's some pictures and some video of the kids doing their Taekwondo, you know, practice you know, steps and stuff like that, getting ready for the uh, sports ceremony celebration that they're going to be involved in. And I've been also doing a little bit of traveling, you know, here in China, really close to the Beijing area. I haven't been going anywhere, you know, well, well, in, 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 in April, I'm going back to Thailand. So I'll tell you more about that later. But uh, I've been just, you know, meeting, you know, I've met a couple of good Chinese guys, you know, and they've been taking me around and showing me different parts of Beijing. Um, uh, one guy, a friend of mine, Daniel, he took me to the, uh, Zhongshan, Zhongshan Park, where they have a flower museum. So <laughs> that was pretty interesting, actually. It was, it's down by Tiananmen Square, and um, we even had to go through security to get to um, the, the flower museum and to get more around the area of Tiananmen Square. You have to go through a security point. So here's a little bit of that. And then you have to, um, after we get in by Tiananmen Square, he, we walked a uh, whole ways, you know, I don't know how far we walked, maybe a mile or so, uh, till we got to the uh, flower garden. And uh, Daniel and I, you know, he showed me around the flower garden, the flower museum, not the flower garden, the flower museum. So it was, was kind of nice. It was kind of different to see, you know, some of the, the rare and exotic flowers in uh, Beijing. So some pictures of that. And then another friend of mine, Anthony, uh, him and I met up um, out, you know, in the southern part of Beijing. And it's also a right around the Tiananmen Square area and the, um, the Lama Temple area. I think I've had a video of that before. But he took me to the Zhajiang Lu, Zhajiang, Zhajiang Ji Lu uh, area where uh, there was just a, a lot of restaurants and it's a more of a touristy area. And uh, we took a long uh, walk along a little river there and um, had something to eat. And then we just headed back. So here's a little video of that. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you have a comment, leave a comment down below. 
Um, I, like I said, I've, I've been trying to make videos every week, but it's been a little difficult, you know, with all of the work that they have us doing in the primary school and uh, my trying to do research for when I do uh, leave China to uh, my next destination. So I think I've told everyone more about that. I want to go to Mexico. So we'll see what part of Mexico I get to and everything. But uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching. This is L2 to you. I'm out. I did it right this time. L2 to you. I'm out. See? Out.